We've introduced an exciting new way to browse and filter variants using annotations provided by Nomad for exomes. The existing search, which is based on the pipeline provided annotations, is unchanged and can still be used in the usual way. The menu options have changed to distinguish between the two search options. There are several differences between the two search mechanisms. The primary difference is that the pipeline annotated variants are never updated and represents the annotations that were current at the time they were analyzed. On the other hand, uh, the Nomad annotated variants are updated quarterly with every new release of Nomad across all previously analyzed patients. We indicate uh, which version of Nomad is being used and for the purpose of this demo the Nomad version is 2.1.1. One of the immediate benefits of using Nomad Search is being able to filter using the latest frequencies and gene names. With this new information, we can go back and review cases that were previously unsolved. By default, Nomad Annotated Search assumes the assembly build is GRCH38. If users need to go back and look at previously analyzed patients, users should remember to select the GRC H37 build. Some new filters were introduced including the loss of function and the homozygous count as well as um, canonical and the nomad consequence. It should be noted that structural variants are not supported in the nomad annotated search to search SN, uh, structural variants, please continue to use the pipeline annotated search. Let's now have a look at the search results and how they're formatted. For this demo, I'll use our control sample. And I also want to filter down to a specific coordinates to highlight another major change. Um, and chromosome 19 using the old assembly. Okay. Okay, so with Nomad uh, annotated search, we're splitting the results into two tabs. The first tab here uh, displays variants that have a link to uh, Nomad and um, the second tab um, is basically a list of variants that don't have a link to Nomad. Um, and so it's important to note that the, the coverage of the annotation provided by Nomad is, is patchy and there are plenty of variants annotated by the pipeline for which there is no corresponding annotation in Nomad. Uh, so this is the reason uh, we have the second tab uh, to filter on the pipeline annotation and display the results separately. Uh, so it is highly recommended to use both searches um, when doing your analysis. Ah, so one important distinction to be aware of is that the pipeline annotated search displays um, one variant linked to one transcript. Whereas the Nomad annotated search, we are displaying multiple transcript uh, transcripts for each variant. So in this case, we can see here for the one patient, uh, we're looking at one genomic position. The significance of this is that in the search results, we may see multiple rows for the same variant represented by different transcripts. Looking at the column headings, we now list genes from both the pipeline and Nomad as an easy way to compare the two side by side. We have noticed that some uh, new genes not previously listed in the pipeline or perhaps the gene names have changed over time. It also shows how the data sets have evolved over time and something to be mindful of when using gene lists. For the same reasons, we also show the consequences from both the pipeline and Nomad side by side. In this particular case, the pipeline annotated the variant as synonymous for the uh, PPFIA3 gene, but for the HRC gene, 
uh, nomad annotated as a downstream variant. The other new column is the loss of function, uh, which also exists as a filter uh, in the prediction and scores section. So before signing off, I just want to repeat that the new nomad search is not meant to replace the pipeline search, but to complement it with fresh new information for the variants nomad has coverage for, which is far lower coverage than, than the pipeline. So it is highly recommended that, that we use both searches when doing the analysis. Thank you for watching.